Your beautiful souls, this is Ona. Welcome back. Thank you for watching. And if you're new to Art of Awakening, I def definitely want to give you a big welcome. Um, it's been a little while since I did a reading for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do one now. We've got a full moon coming up. I'm going to use my spirit animal awareness deck for this reading. Full moon is in Scorpio this month. So... All that belongs to Scorpio is going to come to the surface a big time uh, right now. may have been feeling it already. This has been an intense week. Uh, Scorpio does have a lot to do with kind of the deep unconscious. And, um, you know, the full moon is going to bring that up into and be illuminated. So if you've been having interesting things happen, triggers, being triggered, triggering others, um... You know, that's kind of par for the course, so don't feel bad. Um, and just a side note about triggers, you know, those things, when we get behavior patterns that aren't serving us, really the thing to keep in mind is that they developed as coping mechanisms. So it's like whatever patterns are coming forward, that may not be comfortable, that may not be serving us, whether it's those of others or of ourselves, that they originally uh, were there, you know, they those patterns developed in order to help the person. So if it's us, it may develop to help us. And yes, it may be something that we need to work through overcome because it's no longer appropriate, but it doesn't reflect the value of the person, right? It doesn't reflect that you know, um, it, it, it's really, I think part of this whole mess that happens <laughs> is that there's a whole guilt shame dynamic that goes along, goes around, um, when triggers happen and that can really pull us, suck us way down back into it. Because originally, like, if you look at the animal world, there's no good or bad, like, there's there's kind of there are hard things that happen right in nature but like there's no judging um, because all of it's there for survival right so every characteristic that an animal has is there to help it survive and it, you know so as, as humans at our core we're we're animals at our core right i mean yeah we've got a consciousness at a different level but um when we look at some of the triggers or whatever happens, um, you know, just keep kind of keep in mind that's that's your that the animal part of yourself that is just really trying to protect you from being wounded or the other person, whatever it is, and that those behavior patterns uh, uh, were originally there to help and to protect, um, and yeah. So let's just leave it that that it's it's you know each person is divine. There's 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 no shame or guilt in who you are or what you're doing, whatever. You know, we're all working through this together. And the more we can really focus on, you know, maybe something happened. Maybe something, you know, felt uncomfortable for a while. But, you know, just, just forgive yourself for whatever. Forgive the other person. I think realizing that those whatever behaviors are, are, are not serving us right now, they did start as you know something that was uh, trying to be helpful and and probably was helpful at some point, helped us get through trauma, get through a traumatic situation. And so if we can be just kind of have some gratitude for even the trauma as it comes, even the triggers as they come up, you know, have some gratitude because what they're doing is they're pulling it up from the depths and showing it to us so that we can work through it, okay? And, you know, the the, the more we can just be accepting and grateful for um, those experiences and look for the lesson in them, the easier it is it's going to be to get past it. Okay, so... First animal here. This actually came up in reverse, but I'm going to show it to you that way. Um, is fog, and I think this kind of fits in with what uh, we we're just saying about um, about 
triggers and you know frogs are real sensitivity they're it's like sort of a canary in the coal mine kind of animal um the frog is one of the most sensitive animals to environmental pollutants to toxic stuff so this is really uh calling up you know um toxicity like any kind of toxic emotions whatever this may be coming forward if it hasn't already you know in your life um there's been a scorpio it's a water sign but there's a certain <laughs> there's a certain kind of fiery element to it if you and i'm kind of getting inflammation the word inflammation is coming up a lot um triggers can cause like if you think of getting a scorpion sting and you're going to get a huge amount of inflammation it's going to kind of hurt right um if we get triggered it sort of causes that a sort of inflammatory response sometimes in the psyche <laughs> and um you know i think sometimes like we get to see this frog sitting in water i've been feeling a lot of fire energy in this this week and my guidance just keeps telling me just put water on it get it get, get water into it um and water being more like it can be physical water um you know taking a bath going to the swimming pool um i've got a little uh, fountain in my room and i i haven't really been running it for months and months but i was just like today i need to run this fountain and get some water going so even just the sound of water or imagining water and waves very soothing so looking for uh, things that will soothe the fire things that will kind of soothe the inflammation uh, staying real calm this weekend uh, doing calm activities um, you know maybe a quiet taking the family out to the park or something instead of trying to go to a busy museum you know if you've got kids right um, you know spending some time in nature this weekend would be but it's always good <laughs> but this might be an especially good time to do it this also might be a really good time to have some solitude maybe just get away from the fray for a bit get away and just feel into your own self who you are who you are here's again this is another one reverse but it's b um again is a kind of that inflammatory response and uh, what i was just saying about solitude um you know b is a communal critter but uh, I, I you know coming up in reverse as it did and and the whole thing about stinging you know with the scorpion i'm kind of feeling this might be a very good weekend to you know maybe try to find some solitude maybe maybe hang out with one person that you feel really comfortable with but maybe not a good time maybe not a good week for crowds just go within this weekend as much as you can. Go within. And let's pull one more. This one's coming. They're all coming up in reverse. I'm not showing to you in reverse just because, again, I like to see them this way. But um, Badger, again, that's got a very, I consider Badger, you know, it's very much an earth, earth kind of animal. Um, but it's got a lot of fire to it too, especially with this card. You know, it's got that sun energy. There's a lot of fire coming up in this image in particular. Um, I would say a hole in, right? You know, the badger's defensive mechanism is to just burrow into the earth. So grounding, anything you can do to ground. Again, getting out in mother nature could be like the best thing you could ever do this weekend. <laughs> just get out there and spend some time if you have access to the woods that's great uh, that'd be you know awesome or um you know whatever you got access to in your garden maybe gardening might be a really good thing to do get your garden going um but i'd say like just really pull into the earth and the water energies anything that you can do with this calming soothing grounding um because it, there's there's a lot a lot of intense energy coming up and as you you know especially if you are doing some um grounding or calming exercises or activities actually watercolor painting <laughs> watercolor painting would be a great thing to do um anything to do with water um 
or maybe throwing pots on a wheel, something like that. If you you know want to do a little creative work, might creative work might really be great to help to work through and help some of these things that may be deep in the psyche that are ready to be flushed out, help them to come up. So um, you know, spend some time by yourself, do some creative work, journaling. Um, excellent way to start actually starting to see and process some of the things that that we may be and this might be stuff that's that this might be stuff that we're visiting here um, this week that that we've been working on and struggling with for years it could be at that kind of depth that's just coming up to the light just to be cleared so whatever happens this weekend this week this coming week even this coming month um just breathe through it because it's it's clearing a lot of stuff so if we can really focus on the positive um kind of what 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 this is all about rather than the nitty-gritty oh my god this feels horrible <laughs> or this is really hard or oh my god you know i can't believe this and such so and so said thus and such um, rather than focusing on that, if we can really focus on all this stuff is coming up to be cleared, it's really a healing process. Just like, um, you know, inflammation in the body, when it's an acute inflammation, like if we get a bee sting or something like that, um, the body's going to flare up and, and have that inflammatory response. And what it does is it really kind of creates, um, it helps to, to, to kill bacteria. It, it helps to just clear stuff out. Um, so just take it in stride and um, have a lovely week or month take it easy things will be fine <laughs> things will be fine just really keep your mind on the positive um, really might be a really great again just bring out those creative things hole up you know just have yourself a nice kind of creative um, <laughs> creative dialogue with yourself and see what comes up that could be some really creative, really awesome stuff that comes out of it too. So, all right, so hope you've enjoyed. Um, as always, I definitely appreciate your likes, your comments, your subscribes. Thank you so much to those who have uh, signed up for sessions or um, purchased my deck. Uh, definitely so, so appreciate that. And have a lovely full moon in May in Scorpio.